hey guys welcome back to my channel so i'm going to be doing this install on my lovely client so the first thing i'm going to be doing is tying the back of that cap because i am using like a foot stocking cap these stocking caps work way better than actual hair stocking caps so now i'm going in with a foundation powder and this is by the brand ruby kiss i'm not sure what number it is but i have a tons of them in different colors so at this point i realized i cannot do my client's hair with a mask so i asked her to take it off and she was like okay no problem but i did keep my mask on still so I'm just going in with some bold hold I put it on the corners just to hold the ears down and then I just spray my got to be glue so this is the hair and this is a wig from hair VV and this is actually a fake scalp wig so I honestly didn't have to do the cap method for her but I love my cap method and I kind of forgot so I just wanted to show you guys my cap method again if you don't remember it so here you guys go so I'm going in with a fresh razor and I just perfectly cut it around her hairline now I'm just taking the wig and as you guys can see this is an HD wig so I didn't even put any makeup on the wig and it blended to her skin perfect like I didn't put no makeup on the wig I actually forgot to do that step but because it looks so good I just didn't even do it so now I'm gonna go ahead and clean off her edges with some alcohol and clean off that area before I cut off the lace and now that I've cut off the lace with my razor and this is basically how I always cut my lace off I don't go in any perfect way I just go I'm gonna be doing three two layers of bold hold lace glue and I'm gonna go ahead and do the first center part first and after I glue that part down then I'll be doing left to right so now the glue has dried and I'm just going ahead and putting down that center piece and as you guys can see I don't apply it until the glue is dried clear so that's what I'm going ahead and doing and gluing that down once I've glued that down, I'm going to go ahead and begin to do the sides and then I'm going to do left and right. And once that's finished, I'm going to go ahead and begin to do my baby hairs. So now I'm just going in with my blow dryer and I'm just furthermore drying the lace and making sure everything is fully dried because when it comes to the HD lace and stuff like that it is very very thin so you do want to make sure that your glue is all dried around just to keep it keep yourself from having a sloppy install. So now I'm going ahead and starting her baby hairs and I'm just going in with my baby hairs toothbrush and the gel that I'm using is got to be gel and I'm using the yellow tube bottle and I'm going ahead and just doing my little swoops Now I'm finished with this side and I'm just going ahead and doing my last swoop. I'm going ahead and spraying some oil sheen on the hairline, um, on the baby hairs and then blow drying it with my blow dryer. That is just basically setting the baby hairs. Now I'm going to go ahead and begin to do the same thing to the left side.
so now that I've finished my baby hairs, I'm going ahead and I'm going to be taking one of the stockings that I used to tie to basically put down her hair. And I'm just going to be tying down the baby hairs. And I'm doing that in the meantime. I'm going to go ahead and sew the back of her hair because she asked me to sew it. You have an option to sew your back of your hair or you can also just clip the band. But she asked me to sew it for her. So I went ahead and did that. So now I'm just going in and, and blow drying out her hair. This just gives it, I like to do this little blow dry thing because it kind of makes the hair look really suave and bouncy and stuff like that. It has more of a move to it. I like to blow dry before I flat iron it. So I'm going to go ahead and just flat iron the hair. I'm not doing it in any particular way so I'm going to go ahead and do it off camera. Now I'm finished flattening her hair and this is basically the last piece. I'm going to go ahead and take off the band around her hair. So this is how her baby hairs look, nice flat and laid. And now I'm just going to begin hot combing her hair. And I'm also using the hair clip that Hair Vivi sent me. I really really do like this hair clip. You can hold a lot of hair with such a small hair clip. So yeah. Thank you Hair Vivi for sending me that clip because it definitely came in handy. So I'm now going in with the hot comb. And I'm just pressing out her hair. I'm flattening it. I'm parting it in small areas. And I'm just pressing it out with my hot comb. And this is not a plug-in hot comb. This is actually a stove hot comb. So it is super, super hot. And it is pressing the hair as flat as possible. I mean, you guys can really see the difference in how flat it's really getting. And I love my stove hot comb. So as you guys can see, I'm still hot combing. I went ahead and started the other side. And you guys can basically see from the right side the big difference in it. And a hot comb is really, really a life changer, y'all. Look how flat this is. The wig looks, it looks so good. And I'm just going ahead and just pressing that bit out. Now I'm going to go ahead and begin to cut. I'm going to zoom the camera out so you guys can see a better view. And I'm going to push her up higher so she's more my level and I'm just going to head and begin cutting I don't really have a specific way of cutting um, I just try to go as straight as cross and cut as best as I can right now I'm using basic scissors from the beauty supply store but usually I use shears but the shears I have aren't sharp anymore so I just use some basic scissors and I'm gonna go ahead and continue to do that around her whole head and I'm gonna keep cutting until I feel like everything's even and everything looks good. So now I'm just going in and I'm going to just take some light oil and rub that through her hair and this oil is the rust oil and it's a silk serum so now I'm going to take my blow dryer and I'm just going to go ahead and re-blow dry everything now that I've finished cutting I'm just re-blow drying it so I can get it to have that move and that wiggle and it not just be stick in a chop bob get it? Now I'm going in with my flat iron and I'm just going to be re-flat ironing all the little pieces and I'm going to be going between the hairs and just giving it a small curve so it's not really just a straight down bob. So now that everything's been flying, I'm just going ahead with my tweezers and I'm just plucking her part. I'm just plucking it a little bit just to define it some more. I'm not really going in too crazy with it and I'm going to go ahead and apply some foundation. So I am using a lighter color powder which is like a color of her scalp 
and I'm just going along the part this is just basically gonna make the part more visible and make it look more clean and realistic and I'm just dusting it through now I'm taking my Fantasia spritz and my oil sheen and I'm now gonna be combing it out and taking my hot comb and basically fleeking it out and making everything look flat and neat like look at this install y'all I didn't even know how beautiful like I know this install was bomb but like I didn't realize how nice and neat it looked until I watched this video shout out to hair Vivi for this bomb fake scalp wig this wig is beautiful I love it I'm gonna have all the details listed down in the description box below so you guys can purchase you a wig just like this look at this y'all slayed laid and good my client looks so good everything looks crispy and clean okay what lace thank you guys for watching make sure you guys comment down below let me know what you guys think about the video comment down below things you guys want me to do make sure you guys thumbs up this video and let me know what y'all think thank you guys for watching bye